yeah. Wait, what? hello, hello, hello. How, how y'all doing? Hello. How y'all doing tonight? How y'all doing? This tonight? is the Refuse to Lose show. This, this is Refuse Kubi to Lose show. TV. This is Kubi TV. Yeah. That's what you're doing. This is what we're doing. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm Kubi TV. I'm, I'm Trouble T Roy, sidekick. And we got DJ Next Level that was just on the wheels still. Oh yeah. And we have tonight's guest on the phone, no. Nikki. How you doing tonight, girl? What up, hey, 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 hey. What's happening? What's happening? I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. And you, you should be. <laughs> you look like you're feeling good. Fitness? <laughs> I want to look like you look. Welcome to the Refuse and Lose show. How are you doing on this lovely evening? I'm doing well. I had a full day of home therapy session. And I got to submit you about half an hour ago. So I'm glad to be here with you guys. Oh man, it's a pleasure to have you. It's pleasure, pleasure to have you. Pleasure to have you. Thank you. So let's let's dive into it. What's let let's let us know about uh, the fitness. What's 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 good on the agenda? We know we have a lot of different things that people are doing out there when it comes to fitness. What is your specialty when it comes down to fitness? What is your go to get healthy regimen? Well, I'm passionate about I'm, I'm passionate about all things concerning health and wellness. Um, I'm a mental health counselor, and I'm also a certified personal trainer. So we talk about dealing with the mind and the body, holistic, holistic wellness. Mm. Um, not too many personal trainers are also psychotherapists. So with NC Gem Fitness, which is my business, you get a tool and package. I'm going to be providing uh, physical, personal, and also mental health counseling infused with that. And how and how that came to be is over the pandemic, mm. I gained about 15 pounds. Wow. And myself, along with so many other people, gained a whole bunch of weight because through the social distancing and quarantine, we mm. had to just be home, eating, bored, and mm -hmm. it's easy to put on weight with sedentary, right? So... I said to my friend, let's go jogging. Let's go to Marine Park. We started jogging two days a week, and then it became four days a week. And then I had a couple more friends join me. And then I started unofficially training people in the park. And I had a lot of free time. And I, I've been putting off getting certified for so, so many years. Because I've been working out for years, and I've always said to myself, let me get into and register for personal trainer certification, and I never did because so many excuses, too busy, like so many things just came up that I never did it, and the pandemic afforded me the time and the energy to do it. So I got certified in November, uh, and I started my business not too long after that, and right now I have five clients, and mm. I provide virtual sessions and also in-person sessions. And the mission of NC Gen Fitness is to uh, help people improve their body image, their health esteem, and basically to get snatched and, and physically fit for the summertime. And not only for the summertime, after that, it's a wellness business. We want to maintain our weight loss. We want to maintain our fitness goals for the long haul. Copy that. Wow, you sound like you've been busy over this last year. Words, you've been doing your Ooh. thing over the COVID. It's def that's what you talk about. That's, that's what you mean by taking advantage of idle time, coming up with new ideas, you know, getting getting your mind right, getting your body right. And that seems to be the, the, the go-to now because we've come out of this long year pandemic. So um, tell me, give me some give me some ideas of what, what I can do. Because I know I gained a little weight. Yeah, you ain't gaining a little bit, don't boy. Yeah, I gained, I gained a uh, lot of weight. Tell her the truth. Tell her the truth. <laughs> yeah, I gained a lot of weight. This man. is the Refuse to Lose show on Real Truth Radio. Tell her the truth. Yeah, yeah, I did. I did. All right, so I gained about 25 pounds, so I, I need to lose that. And along with probably some mental healthness, you know, I, I, I got a little crazy being confined and not seeing my family and friends. So what would you it's suggest that I can get into just to get a start? Well, first of all, we have to reshape how we think about this pandemic. Mm. And depression is one of the leading 
mental health conditions that have come out of this pandemic. Absolutely. Depression and anxiety and also PTSD. Um, with, when it comes to the losses and also the racial kind of going on. Um, so we have to think about ourselves as more powerful than we think we are. There are things that we can control, things that we can't, but we have to be able to know the difference. Mm -hmm. That's as far right. as weight loss, um, the number one way to lose weight is to stop our nutrition diet. What you're consuming is very important. So my suggestion is to cut out all fast foods, fried foods, um, all sodas, juices, mm. and it can be very difficult because for a lot of people, food is, <coughs> is an emotional experience. There's, there's, sometimes food is filling a void that's going on inside of you that um, provides comfort for you at that specific time. Yeah. Um, right. So part of what I do with my clients is we address the emotional attachment to food. Okay. Why are you overeating or why are you overeating bad foods like candy, cake, chocolate? These are all things that full with Guilty. So there are artificial sugars, the services that lead to not only weight gain, but also chronic medical conditions like heart disease. Heart disease is the number one type, um, type of disease African American. Um, and it's the number two. Aside from cancer, it's the leading cause of death for, Af for the African American population. So we have to cut out all artificial stuff, all this use this past foods, and we want to replace it with fresh fruits and vegetables. Um, you want to incorporate high protein, good right. carbohydrates like potato. Right. I've had a couple of my clients go vegan for a few for a few weeks, and they noticed a huge change in weight loss and energy level. Wow! And wow! Put their water, water. I can't stress that enough. Women have to consume at least two two point seven liters of water a week and then three point seven liters. Enough of us to not get water. Three point seven liters of water a day. Yes. Wow. Come on now, Nikki. Now you know for you know for real for real. A chocolate mousse cake at night is delicious. <laughs> now come on, Nikki. <laughs> that you normally would like to eat? Oh, I love ranch Doritos. Like, mm. uh, mm. The blue bag. Wow. The blue bag. The blue bag. They don't even got to have the logo on it. You know? <laughs> <laughs> the blue bag. But you know, I think it's important that you actually said what you said regarding the fact that, you know, you do have a cheat day and, you know, from time to time, you should treat yourself to some of those things that you like. Um, because people looking from the outside in probably think that you just have to be perfect and, you know, mm -hmm. drink gallons of water every single day and salads all the time. Um, you know, I think it's important that you express to certain people that they will still be able to eat some of the things that they used to eat. It's just a matter of moderation. Yep. Yes. And the portion size. Like, you can have your oxygen rice and peas, you know? Uh -oh. But just not but overdo it. How much? Like, cut the plate in half. You know, you can still have it, but not... Too much of it. Oh, that is so tough. Yeah. A half a plate of oxtails and rice and peas? <laughs> well, you know, half a plate? Well, you know, like tonight we had lasagna, and half of that plate is huge. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. it depends on what size plate you're using, too. That's true. Okay. Yeah. Many and, plates. <laughs> so, and nowadays, a plate of oxtail does cost about $24. So, you know, getting a half a plate of oxtails nowadays should not be a bad idea. Oh, yeah, definitely. 
Well, you know, one of the things, one of the things I did adopt, um, because I know that you know they say cutting out a lot of starch, rice, pasta, sugar. Those are your main factors of gaining weight. So I know one of the things that I've adopted along with that is just not only in, incorporating salt in my diet, um, but I take now practicing when you take rice or eat rice, have a, a, a cup of it, and that should be good enough. Have, how, how does that work? Would it be okay to have that rice, or should it be something that you just totally cut out of your diet? Well, it depends on your personal fitness goals. Like if you're, if, if you're someone who's obese, Someone else said the same thing. And you know what's funny? I have a bag of that in my fridge, in my, my cabinet, and I haven't cooked yet because I don't know how to cook it. But I said I want to try it. But I, I, I want to try to, you know, because I'm a, I'm, I'll be honest, I'm a person who cheats. You know, I, I, I still drink milk. You know, I, I, you know, I have the Oreos sometimes at night. I know I shouldn't have them. There's some chips, but you know, I, I do want to get rid of the, the belly. You know, I got to get rid of the belly. You're starting to make this personal. Let's let's get back to uh, no. I'm, let's, I'm, let's, 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 I'm let's, not let's, making it personal. I'm just thinking about the things that that you know people think about and all those things are, are, are yes, legitimate factors. I, I understand. Really, right. because of the perception. That, so, that's so, most common for women and men. It's towards it's the perception. That's the hardest part to get rid of. See. Now let's talk about the mental health side of it. Yes. What could, what? What are some of the things that we can practice to get our cells out of these depressing states from being in COVID? What do you recommend? Well, Meditation? Reading the Bible? The first thing that comes to mind for me is getting physically active. Mm -hmm. Part of the sedentary lifestyle, like I said, is the main reason for um, weight gain and also depression, just laying around being bored all day leads to depression um, and also anxiety. Mm -hmm. So I think a really important thing is if it's not working out in the gym, it's just getting up and getting active. If that means just taking a walk in the park or, I mean, it's cold out now, so um, that's, that's kind of difficult. But um, maybe starting to work out at home. Mm -hmm. I, myself, I offer a virtual training, so we can start um, with the at-home workouts, purchasing like at-home equipment, whether that's like some dumbbells or like a yoga mat, start stretching in. That's very important. Okay. Um, the second thing that comes to mind for me is staying connected with people. Uh, I always say to find social distancing doesn't mean social isolation. So you can still be um, distancing from people, but still be connected to them, whether that's through phone or, you know, meeting up with friends, as long as it's in groups of 10 or less. Um, I will also encourage clients to keep gratitude journals. Every morning when you wake up, think of three things that, you, that you're grateful for and start the day off on a positive note. All too often we true. wake up and we go on social media and we allow the outside environment to dictate how we're going to function and how we're going to feel for the day. Mm -hmm. But it's very powerful for you to wake up and say a prayer, do a meditation, say some affirmations, and that will set the tone for the day. Wow. Very well said. And also, very if well you said. feel like you need counseling, there, mental health counseling is more available now more than ever. Mm -hmm. And black people are are not using the services as much as white people. Yes. To be honest, yes. it's underutilized. Um, I, I, so, for every white person, what? Um, for every four white people, one black person mental health services because there's a lot of stigma around it. Uh, people, black people, don't want to feel like um, something's wrong with them or mm -hmm. that they, you know, they don't like to how they're business capable, and there's nothing wrong with expressing your feelings in a safe space. Um, it's totally confidential, mm -hmm. um, and sometimes you just need to talk to a neutral person to work through some, 
some challenges that's going on emotionally. Yeah, absolutely. I just provide to go get counseling. If you feel you need it and we're struggling, that's what we need to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very well said, young lady. Very well said. Um, tell our listeners where they can go to learn more about you and your programs. Yes, of course. Um, you can follow me on Instagram, Vinci Gem Fitness. Um, and also, my website is still being worked on. I have someone working on my website right now, but if you go to VinciGemFitness.com, you can put in your email and you'll be notified when my website launches which is in the next couple of weeks. Um, awesome. And also, Beautiful. you can email me at Nicole Slater, N-I-C-O-L-E, Slater, S-L-A-T-E-R, at VinceGemFitness.com. And I'm more than happy to talk with you guys. Um, I'm really cool, down to earth. Don't be nervous. Don't be scared about benefits. It's fun. Uh, and and, and you'll, your body will thank you later. Yeah, awesome. One, one more wow. time, ladies and gentlemen, that is Vinci Gem Fitness. V I N is in Nancy, C is in Cat, Y is in Yellow, Gem, G E M, Fitness, F I T N E S S. Vinci Gem Fitness, the website is the same spelling, dot com. Make sure y'all look into her, tune in. She's moving, she's a power move maker out there. She's got her own uh, black small business. Support this young lady, follow her. And tell a friend to tell a friend and make sure y'all go work out with her. Absolutely. Yes, we definitely want to shout you, commend you for the work that you are doing. Um, you know, a lot of people don't realize that you, you what you said hit spot on. Some of us are afraid to, to have these conversations. We need to get out of that bubble, you know, by being secluded and not sharing. Because, um, you know, I do it. I call Butch and, you know, these dudes all the time when I got something serious to talk about. So... Yeah, man. I, I, my hat's off to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank yeah, you. Yeah. yeah, right. There's no shame in, no in, in not feeling okay, you know? Um, I thank you guys for this task for honoring Women's Month. Oh, absolutely. Month. Absolutely. And just so you know, you are our very first guest for Women's Month, so you are setting it oh. off. Yes, sir. And you set it off in the perfect tone, so we definitely thank you and commend you. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. All right. And please, young lady, keep up the good work. Yeah, yeah. One more time, right. yo. Give it up, give it up, give it up. Thank yeah. you, Nikki, for being on the Refuse to Lose show. We will stay in touch. I will make sure I um get Troy to call you because I'm tired of talking to him about his problems. <laughs> All right? Okay. Now he helped, girl. Thanks, Nikki. We wish you the best of luck. Keep pushing. You'll, you'll always have a platform here with us. To, uh, to talk to our followers as well as, uh, you know, relent, conveying any messaging that you may have to, to speak to the masses. So, again, congratulations on your success, and we look forward to watching your progress. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it so much. All right, guys. Okay. Be well. Take care. Bye. One more that time. That was man. nice. That was nice. Yeah. One Woo! more time for, One more time for, Nick. for Nick, man. Yeah. Man. So many people, man, they're getting more and more involved in the mental health business. Yo, listen, man, we need, need it, though. I ain't no lie. On your side, man, we saying. definitely need it, man. And yeah, shout to my man Omar Wong Easy. He is definitely doing his thing in that field as well. Look forward to some big, big, big moves that he's making in those regards. So shout out Omar Wong Easy. Keep pushing. Follow that Wong man, easy. too. Yeah, that's man. right. We're going to get on track, yo. Damn, yo, you know what? Damn, what was that I read today? I read something. I can't remember this slogan I read, man. Oh, man. Oh, oh, look, look both man. ways before crossing? No, no. <laughs> it, was, <laughs> no that, that, it was something on a t-shirt about... Oh, man, I'm not going to say it, man. I'm just going to pick for it again. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to bring it up because I thought it was a fitting topic. Um, But, yeah, let me find that that quote I saw, man. But, yeah, we need to, we need to really pay attention to our mental health, dude. Yes. Yeah, no question, yeah. no question, no question. Uh, salute Nikki again for calling in. Yeah, big shout out to you. Um, cool, why don't you go into who our next guest is? We got another half hour of music for y'all. Yeah, yeah. But, but look, we got someone, a young lady that's Wanda very, very D. interesting. Wanda, Wanda D. D is coming on the show. If you don't know who Wanda D is, Google her real quick. Real quick. Um, arguably the first female DJ 
Uh, she, yeah, yeah. she was in Crush Groove. Uh, she was um, 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 the very first member of the Zulu Nation. African Bob, African Babata took uh, her under his wing um, and made her the first female member of the Zulu Nation. And she DJed alongside him. And she also, well, she actually started alongside the legendary Cool Herc. Um, so this woman's Ooh, credentials wait. is crazy. Um, but, you know, that's just the beginning of her story. We look forward to talking to her because that's where she started out. She was in Crush Groove. You know, they showed her on the wheels of steel in Crush, Crush Groove. Word. Yeah, that, that, that just moving. goes to show, you know, that Crush she's been in the moving. game rocking from the very body beginning. Moving. So she went on to transform her career into so many other different things. And we look yeah, forward to tapping into word. that. So stay tuned, y'all. We will that's be getting the into the Honda D in the next half hour, 8.30. She will be tuning in. If you have any questions you'd like us to ask her, or if you have any music requests you'd like for me not to play, call 347-602-8599. If you want to curse out Trouble T. Roy if you're becoming slightly obese, give him a call at 347-602-8599. If you want to yell at Kubi because he yells at you, give him a call, 347-602-8599. Let's go, y'all. Road yeah. Trip Radio. Refuse to lose show. Shout Every out to Al you know that? Shout out Dre Black. I see you, Dre, with that jump shot elbow. I jump hope he was listening. He's listening. He's listening. He's on yeah. the edge. Shout out to our sponsors, Onslaught. Oh, definitely. Definitely Onslaught. Stay motivated. Yes, sir. Stay. Brown's Touch. Yes, sir. Coons. Coons. Jeweler. Yeah. That's your one-stop jewelry shop. Yep, yep, yep. Don't forget about my man Calm Drip. Calm oh, Drip is Drip. in the building. My man Downtown Bobby Brown. Yeah. They called him hard to guard when he was on the court. Matter of fact, I understand that Bob is still down there in North Carolina talking mad shit. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah I he said he ain't played two months. The last time he went out there and played, he, he, he did damage. I don't believe him. Oh, he, he's man. not going to change, man. Whether Bobby gets 40 or 2, he's going to tell you he did that. Right. <laughs> yeah. That's you my got man. Soulvation, soul, spiritual, mental, and Vation. physical transformation of your life. And then we have Silent Kings. I want to shout out to all of our sponsors tonight. Yeah, big shouts. And uh, thank you. And everybody that's tuned in tonight's show, you know what I'm saying? That's listening. And, uh, you know, DJ Next Level is going to get into his bag again. Yeah. For the next half hour. Yes, sir. You yes, know sir. what I'm saying? The Thank tricks you. is going to be you. <gasps> Thanks for tuning in, y'all. Thanks for tuning yeah. in, y'all. We're going to stay on the same vibe. <laughs> Keep rocking out with us. You got any questions, give us a call. Shout us out. You going to ride with us, you ready or what? You going to ride with us, you ready or what? You going to ride with us, you ready or what?